been a while since I uploaded a video. I uh, got a new tension compression ER20 tapping head from Tormac, uh, and I'm basically just practicing doing a little tapping here. Uh, these are quarter 28 holes. Uh, this may end up becoming a fixture plate. I'm really just doing it as a test, but uh, we'll see. So unfortunately, my Precision Matthews does not have a spindle encoder, uh, so I can't use G33.1 uh, because it just gets stuck at that line waiting for the uh, spindle at speed code. So I basically wrote a little bit of a hand code here um, where I feed down uh, at the feed rate that I've kind of guess and checked here um, and then stop the spindle pause for a second, uh, I come back up at a lower speed because the deceleration of my spindle tends to cause the form tap to keep going into the hole, uh, and then when I back out that uh, compression or the tension head starts coming back into compression and it's basically uh, even by the time it exits the hole. So uh, these aren't the correct feed rates if you were to rigid tap. Uh, I am going at 500 in, uh, RPM. Uh, if anyone notices up here, it says 1200 RPM. That's because, uh, I am in low gear and I still haven't set up my high low gear. So when I tell it to go at 1200 RPM in low gear, uh, I just happen to know that that goes in 500 RPM. Uh, if I were in high gear, that would go 1200 RPM. So, uh, it's a little bit confusing and hacky, uh, but it's really just a proof of concept. I'll set up that gearing here pretty soon uh, and may end up getting a spindle encoder uh, but this little bit of hand code really wasn't all that uh, detailed and difficult so I'm going to go down to 0.6 uh, or 0.2 inches I'll start feeding down at 19.2 inches with the spindle going 500 rpm uh, I'll go down to minus one inch which is enough to clear this 3 8 inch stock uh, stop the spindle pause for a second uh, and then go back up at 15 inches a minute with the spindle in reverse to uh, 0.15 inches above the stock. Stop the spindle and then it ends my code. So uh, let's run that here and see how it goes. <laughs> And you can see, I uh, definitely did come under uh, comp tension when it was uh, going down in the positive direction, so the head kind of stretched out a little bit because the uh, spindle kept spinning, uh, the decel deceleration, uh, so it kept driving itself into the hole, uh, and then, I, like I said, I set that feed rate uh, in the backwards direction a little bit slow uh, so that uh, head is able to go back up into alignment uh, so it doesn't pull the tap, uh, the form tap, out of the uh, hole and gall the threads. So that is a quarter 28. Sorry, I was reaching. This is a quarter 28. I just did this hole. So you can see that goes in nice. And it will go all the way through the bottom. Oh, terrible blur, sorry. I took my word, even though there is quite a bit of a bird on there. Uh, so I haven't gone through and deburred the back side of this yet, obviously. But that is tapping on the Precision Matthews PM30MV. Um, if you didn't notice, I got some new way covers for the Y-axis. Uh, they work like a charm. Thanks. Figured I'd let you guys watch a few in a row here. So this is that same code. I just have it repeating at all the different locations basically like a can cycle. I would say this is a heck of a lot faster than uh, tapping by hand.
I would say this is a pretty good success. And out of the deal, I guess I made myself a little fixture plate. This is going to be the last hole right here. So that is 18 holes tapped, quarter 28 in about two and a half minutes. Not bad.